Italy, Jorge Mann, at the quattro. Gonzalo Pepa, bass. Carlos Rojas, drums. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming here tonight. And also want to thank all of those who are watching us live via Facebook Live around the world, including all of our alumni. This is a piece that the English interpret is called El Negro Jose. It's one of the most uh, popular of the pieces that my father composed of very folkloric Venezuelan music. And this is an arrangement that they did for this. And this is what kind of a great thing they are doing is proposing new ways to interpret my father's music. In 1952, my father moved to New York City. That's him, and that's me. <laughs> and as a 24-year-old Venezuelan musician who wanted to come to New York to expand his horizons in music, and then he was hired by RCA Victor, which is basically the, one of the largest labels at that time. Uh, he uh, started to work with luminaries like Tito Puente, and Stan Kenton, and Dean Martin, and Jeremy Lewis, and then his game break came when he was asked to record a music, a Venezuelan music, using a big orchestra, almost a symphonic orchestra, something that had never done, been done before. That was a tremendous success that actually beat all of the records of sales in Latin America for several decades and became basically his staple. And what is more interesting is that he recorded that in the RCA Victor Studios there, and that building was located in this same location in New York City. I didn't learn about that until I started working here. I got goosebumps when I learned about it. And of course, that was the inspiration to have this concert here tonight, celebrating my father's music. So uh, basically, after that, he became a composer. He composed more than 200 pieces and uh, of both folkloric, popular, and also a classical music. And what the next uh, song that we're going to listen to is called El Musiquito, the little musician, that basically tells the story of a little kid that all what he wants to do is to play some kind of wind instrument, including something like this, a melodica. And for that, tonight we're going to have our own a cappella group called the Blue Notes, who will be singing, but also in a first of many things in this concert, they will be dancing for the first time. So watch how your head sister start to jump all over you. Okay? <laughs>
the two nodes who have to leave now because they have another gig. That's how much of, the, of a demand is there for their talent. Tonight, the central artist that we have here is Selene Chiroga. Selene. Selene received her classical training in piano from the National Conservatory of Music, Juan Jose Landareta. She has performed not only in several symphony orchestra, but also some Broadway live shows in Jesus Christ Superstar, The Producers, and any in here, maybe Venezuela. Her career includes performing, composing, and acting, and she has recorded for Spiral, which is Stanley and Son's new high resolution player piano. Many of the pieces that you will be hearing tonight, actually, you can find it in her upcoming CD that Selene has uh, put together called Natural, Not Literal, a tribute to Aldemaro Romero. The next song that they will be performing is called De Repente, meaning suddenly. And this tells the story, basically, of someone who fell in love with another person just at the look of him or her. So, ladies and gentlemen, De Repente, with Selene Quiroga. Thank <laughs> you. 
this instrument called cuatro, which in Spanish means four because it has four strings. Now you will see it looks like a ukulele, and it, because it looks like a ukulele, they are both derived from the same instruments that the Spaniards and Portuguese brought to America and to Hawaii. But there is a big difference in the way they are tuned up. In the case of the cuatro, it's like. But in the case of the ukulele, it's like. Small difference, but an important one. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, thank you for it. Now, the last song is written by my father. This was written uh, uh, some years ago when he was asked to basically illustrate with music one very famous American book called The Little and Angel. This book that was authored by Charles Basewell it became a classic, and he wrote the music basically telling the story of a little girl that has big dreams. And tonight, we're going to have Selena Quiroga and Fabio Rojas interpreting their own version of this song that my father wrote many decades ago.
favorite uh, bedtime song in Venezuela. In many different versions, people play it because kids really like it in order to go to sleep. And now the next song is titled Quien, meaning who, and tells a story about someone who has lost a love and then is looking for another one and wonders who is going to be that new person. And this one actually is Selena's favorite that will be in her upcoming album, Natural Not Little Love. Or else. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I'm gonna earn 20% of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so please, Selena Quiroga. Uh, I just thought I should say hi, right? Because I've been here for a while. So, hello. <laughs> say something short about this song. This is about who, who is that person that's going to come and at the end of the day, that person is ourself. You are, you are your person.
father was hired to write the soundtrack for a movie about Simón Bolívar, the Venezuelan patriot. And one of the songs that he wrote for that movie, it has to do, deal with the uh, uh, love affair going on between that a Venezuelan uh, patriot, Simón Bolívar, and his lover. And that song became also a very romantic song, very well publicized. And for that movie, they hire uh, Maximilian Schell, an Oscar winning actor, and also Rosanna Schiaffino, a very famous Italian actress. And what I want to hear now and listen to is the uh, arrangement that Lene and Gonzalo Tepa have done for that song. And when they're doing that, you're going to see some of the clips from that movie projected on the screen. So, adelante. Century, and my father wrote this song. It's called Lo que pasa contigo. This is what's going on with you. This is basically a monologue 
of all over telling another novel all over. This is what's going on between you and me. And for this interpretation, we're going to have again uh, Gonzalo Tepa with us, Selene, of course, and at the Quattro, Jorge Hegelen. So, all yours. Sí, sí. 
is the musical theme that we use for two of the weekly uh, videos that we produce here at the Westman School of Arts and Sciences. One is College Talk, which is a podcast and video show, and the other one is a video blog or blog, Destination Westman. So you may have some of you at least being familiar with the theme, but tonight we are going to listen to the whole piece interpreted by Salina Quiroga and the great Sandy Wilson at the violoncello. So here is the real thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
My father was a very pro prolific composer. He wrote more than 200 pieces, so many that some of them have yet to be performed. And the next one, Capriccio for Viola and Piano, actually is going to be the first time to be performed in public, so it's going to be a world premiere. All these pieces have been preserved thanks to the efforts of his widow, Elizabeth, who is watching us via Face Live, Facebook Live. So thank you, Elizabeth, for doing that. And all this uh, uh, work has been deposited in the Music Library of the University of Miami. So the next piece, Capriccio for Viola and Piano, will be performed by Paul Scarborough, also the Alexander Spring uh, uh, Quintet, and they're going to get together, and you're going to be the witness for the first ever uh, per public per per performance of this piece. So.
The next one is called Concierto para Teresa. And for that, we're going to have the full Alexander String Quartet with Zacharias Grafilo, Frederick Lift, Second John Marlene, Paul Jarber again, and Sandy Wilson. And they will be joined by Gonzalo Tepa at the double bass. This is a song I did not know, not only because it had never been before before, but because I never read the score until two weeks ago when Salene sent it to me and said, this is one of your father's most beautiful songs. This is based on the life of the first Venezuelan musician that became international, Teresa Carreño, who came to New York at a, a younger age. Then she toured not only in the United States, but also in Europe. And she actually died here in New York City. And this concert is basically dedicated to her as a great pianist, a great innovator, and therefore, that's what we're going to be doing now. A concerto para Teresa, based on the life of Teresa Carreño.
Thank you for this peace was offered by Venezuela Christian Jesus Barcan. And now the next one is going to be quite a different from the one we just heard before. It is one of the most popular pieces that my father ever wrote. It's called El Catire, meaning blondie. <laughs> and it's about a child who is always moving, who is always having new ideas, who is always doing things, who never stops, it's very creative. And so you will catch that with a combination of the music and the video that I want to show you about that particular child. For this piece, we have a new musician here, Mr. Grau, Gonzalo Grau, a Venezuelan pianist as well. Please welcome him. And this is the piece for which we're going to have every single musician participating tonight. And of course, Selene Quiroga being the vocalist. He's going to be the manager. Very soon. <laughs>
for the strings are playing by our own music professor Phil Lambert. Phil! The translation from this very slangy Spanish into English was done by Gary Hensey, our English professor. And the child that you saw on all that video is no other than my grandson, Jordi O'Neill. <laughs> If my father were here tonight, I'm sure he will have some criticism for my conducting. <laughs> but he will be extremely proud to see all these Venezuelan musicians, two generations after himself, not only keep performing his music, but also doing a special arrangement. Especially, uh, you may not know this, but two days ago when we started the rehearsals, some of these arrangements were done at that point. That's how talented and innovative these musicians are. Now to finish the program that we have tonight, we're going to be playing my father's most famous classical piece. It's called Fuga con Pajarillo, a few with little bird, which is a kind of horopo that is played in Venezuela. What he did with this piece was to usually basically use certain sounds typical of Venezuelan music, arrange them for a big orchestra with uh, strings, and today we have the Alexander String Quartet plus Gonzalo Pepa playing at the bass when doing that. And where is Elena Quiroga? She disappeared? Call her over, please. She cannot hide from this. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't escape. <laughs> this concert will have been possible to do without you, your talent, your connections, and therefore we want to give you thank you with this couple of bouquet of flowers. <laughs> what a talent that you see here. Pajarillo uh, is a, play, a piece that has been performed by many symphony orchestras from around the world, and it's certainly his most famous classical one. So I want to pair that with what's going on here at the Weissman School of Arts and Sciences. Since I became dean a year and a half ago, a lot of things have been going on, and we have been documented, documenting all that through a series of video blogs and radio shows and the like in order to publicize the importance of a liberal arts education and make the Weizmann a uh, destination school. And one of the great jewels that we have at Weizmann is this theater. The acoustic is fantastic, but the work that Ted Schuller, the, the director of the BPAC, together with all his staff, have made possible this concert without any bumps. So please, enjoy. Fuga con pajarillo.